if you have problem like this, when you hit men, your chin is up and your left leg is up. Hit men like this, you should improve your man to this. Hey guys, this is Kendo Step Up channel and I'm K. I will tell you about this video. You should use your hip to hit man. This is my first video to tell about Kendo in English. I don't speak English very well, but I hope you understand my, my English and enjoy Kendo. So in this video, I'll tell you about why you hit man like this and how to improve this man like this. Okay, so at first, I want to tell you why you hit men like this. Please remember when you started kendo and this practice like this. Right? One, two, one, two. Okay. I will show you my leg. Okay. One, two. One, two. And next step, you hit me like this. Yeah. Between two steps, you waste the important point to hit. So, I want to tell you about this important point. So, when you hit men like this, one, two, one, two. It's easy to hit hard men, right? That's because your hip, your base of your body is near to the point. So, if you are here near the opponent, it's easy to hit hardly like this. But if you hit man from far, far from the opponent, it's difficult to hit man hardly, right? You can't jump at first. So you just move your leg a little and hit like this. Your chin is up and lean your body so your left leg is up. Lean and left leg is up. And you have to see the opponent's eyes. So your chin is up and hit like this. That's why you hit man like this, right? So, the reason is you don't jump when you hit man. It's not enough. You have to jump about one meter, about 40 inch. I guess you jump half of that. 0.5 meter 20 inch just move a little so you hit man like this and there's one more problem why you hit man like this and continue this too many years I guess the referee the referee sometimes judge your man like this Ippon, right? The referee watch this man and your body is not straight and lean but you hit man in the very good moment and the opponent think oh 
it's e p o n So some people think, oh, it doesn't matter even if I hit man like this. You can hit faster and referee judge e p o n So I don't have to improve this man, right? But I want you to remember what Kendo is. You should think this bamboo sword, Shinai, is the real sword, katana. You cut the opponent's head when you hit man. If you hit man like this, can you cut the opponent's head? It's impossible, right? You can't cut the opponent's head with your arms, just arms. You should put your lower body and hit like this to cut the opponent's head. So, I want you to improve this man. I want to tell you about one more benefit to improve your man. I guess it's so fast to hit man by your upper body like this. I guess it's so fast if you hit move fast just over your upper body like this. It's fast, right? But if you jump fast when you hit man, you can add speed. You hit man fast like this. Plus, if you jump, your body's base. Move toward the opponent so you can add speed to your man by your lower body. So you can hit faster than this man. You can hit faster like this, right? And when you, when you fight with stronger opponent, they can hit man harder, you know? So, you should hit man harder and harder. So, put your lower body toward the opponent and hit harder, like this. There are so many benefits to put your body toward the opponent, right? At first, I want you to understand these benefits. So, next, I want to tell you about how to put your lower body to the opponent. It's so easy and simple. When you started Kendo, I want you to remember this one, two, one, two. Have you done this practice like this? I guess you did. If you haven't d o this practice, you should do this, right? It's a little embarrassing moving, I guess. It's like the beginner of Kendo, but it's so important to practice this. You can push your body by yourself, by your arms, and push your hip and jump. When you jump, you can push your body by yourself. You should jump about one meter, about 40 inch, like this. Push your body. If you just practice like this, your body is near the opponent, so it's like you're here when you hit. So you don't have to do it like this, like this. You're already here, near. The opponent, so 
you don't have to do this. So, you don't do this. You're here and you can hit easily and faster and harder to hit man. So, I recommend you practice this one more. It's a little embarrassing, but you should do this one more time. You can practice this in your house. You don't have to be dojo. If you are in your home, I recommend push your hips, push your lower body, and jump about one meter. For the inch. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and push your good button and subscribe this Kendo Step Up channels. See you next time.